going on everybody welcome to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at the shimano tranks 201 hd reel uh, just picked this thing up not too long ago got it from one of my buddies actually used uh, it is not a brand new reel but i'm going to be going over uh, basically everything about the reel and then uh, kind of spooling it up getting it out there testing it and kind of just showing you guys what it's all about all right so opening up this box the first thing that this uh, shimano reel comes in it's going to be its nice little plastic bag you got the reel out of that and then inside of it uh, like most shimano reel boxes and kits you're going to have the shimano oil and then you're going to have the uh, kind of breakdown kit your uh, schematics and then your manual uh, so those are going to be basically everything that comes in the box right there and uh, now we can take a closer look at the reel uh, so just to talk a little bit about this reel i'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick this is going to be, once again, the Shimano Tranks 201 HG. It's gonna be a seven to one gear ratio. Uh, it is going to have a solid metal, uh, it is an aluminum frame. Uh, and the main idea and uh, the main focus of this reel was to make it corrosion resistant for anglers that are gonna be fishing saltwater, freshwater, uh, a little bit of the mixture. You know, people are fishing redfish, snook, bass, calico bass, stuff like that. Um, so the design behind this, it's gonna have a uh, 13 pound drag. It's going to have a few different sizes of spools. It's going to have a 200, a 300, and a 400 as far as this edition goes. This is the 2016 edition. Uh, it's going to have that automatic anti-reverse. It's going to automatically close the spool when you crank it, uh, when it is open. Uh, and one of the newer things that they did differently with this specific reel that uh, they didn't really do in their previous reels is they went ahead and added the brake uh, system right here on the exterior of the reel so you can go ahead and adjust the brake uh, and make it a lot easier to go ahead and you know fish different lures fish different techniques uh, on the fly as well as they got the uh, the spool tension on this side it doesn't have any sort of clicking or anything like that it is pretty nice and smooth though uh, and basically everything on this reel is going to be aluminum or stainless the main idea like I said is to uh, just fight corrosion be able to fish salt water be able to fish uh, fresh water and be able to target multiple species with one reel. Uh, so this is gonna be a really good reel for uh, targeting big bass. That's mainly what I'm gonna be using it for, using bigger lures, uh, bigger fishing techniques. And I will be matching it up with a heavy rod. We're gonna be using a, uh, uh, a swim bait rod. I'll go ahead and go over that in another video, but I will show you guys the actual rod when we go ahead and uh, rig it up a little bit later. So a few things about this reel that makes it corrosion resistant is it's gonna have, I believe five O-rings in the actual uh, real components over here in the side and that's what's going to keep a lot of the moisture a lot of the water out of the gears and make sure that they don't get any of that corrosive material any of that salt water any of that nasty gunky stuff in there on top of that they have a corrosion resistant brake system i'm sure that just means that there's a little bit more of a fancier design to the brake itself to the disc of the brake itself uh, and maybe even the, the spindle of the brake itself i'm not exactly sure i won't know until we open it up but uh, those are going to be what they really targeted in this reel to make it so much more corrosion resistant. Just kind of sealing it, locking it down, and making sure that that brake uh, has that really thorough corrosion resistant drag on it. So that way when you lock onto those heavy reds, heavy uh, calico bass or anything out there in that brackish water, you're not going to have to worry about you know losing the hook set and uh, potentially losing the fish. And uh, speaking of brakes, as far as this reel goes, it is going to have a centrifugal brake system. Uh, as you can see, we'll open it up right here, show you guys what it looks like inside. And uh, that's gonna be your actual brake system. Those rotations of those pins, uh, kind of locking down and, and creating the drag is what's going to actually break your, uh, your, your reel instead of having those little discs uh, and the magnets. So continuing to just talk about the reel, I just wanna go ahead and give you guys my first impression of it. Uh, it is gonna have a lot bigger of a kind of crank on the handles. Uh, it is gonna be, I believe, a 30 inch rotation. So you are gonna get a lot more line per rotation. So you can fish a lot thicker line. You know, you can throw on 15, 20 pound, 25 pound fluoro. Uh, you can even fish, you know, up to 65 pound braid on this with ease. Um, it's gonna have some really, really cool pattern to it. Uh, it. It's hard to see, but I'll show you guys real quick up close. As you can see, there is almost like a sapphire blue uh, kind of glittering effect to this reel. Uh, and it goes all throughout the center of the frame. And then that aluminum kind of uh, silver metallic sits around it. 
Uh, so it's definitely an eye-popping reel. These things retail for about $200 or $199.99. You can pick them up at Tackle Warehouse, uh, Shimano.com, so many different locations. But we're gonna be spooling this thing up real quick. Uh, like I said, we'll be tossing a few different lures, throwing it on one of my heavy rods, swim bait rods, and kind of showing you guys how I'm gonna be using it. Uh, and kind of just giving you my first impression, how it feels in the hand. Uh, this thing is a little bit heavier because it is going to be that solid aluminum. It comes in at about 8.5 ounces is the weight that it says um, on the box at least. It feels like it might be a little bit heavier. It, it might just be that rugged feel to it, that kind of heavy duty design that I'm just not used to uh, in bait casting or reels. But with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and spool this thing up real quick, pop it on a pole and get out there on the water. All right, guys, so we got the uh, tranks all set up on our Mojo Bassin heavy action rod. This is going to be a one to four ounce uh, lure rod. It's going to be my swim bait rod, and that's what we're going to be using this reel for. Uh, we got ourselves a little chase bait, glide bait on there that we'll be testing it out with first, just kind of getting a feel for it, having fun, and uh, seeing what this thing's all about. Oh, yeah, another one. This, this damn thing. I think I just got my new personal best. I think I just got my new personal best. Back to back. Oh my God. Look at that thing. It is demolished. Oh my God, I think this is my personal best. I'm like shaking right now, I thought I was gonna lose him. everybody just going to go ahead and sum up our day real quick as y'all saw we got out there on the water we were able to land a few solid and healthy bass really put this reel to the test um all in all i can say it handled really well feels really good in the hand didn't feel any sort of bending any sort of torquing on the actual reel itself the body feels really secure and uh, the rotating of the handle is really smooth especially with that 20 pound line uh, as far as testing lures and casting goes um we tested a few different swim baits uh, and a few different click baits, uh, chatter baits, jigs, stuff like that. And all in all, it handles really, really well. It can get some pretty good distance out there if you really want to, you know, let it hang loose. Uh, I really wasn't able to dial it in this first time out, so I will probably have to give it a go a few more times. You might have to do that yourself if you do pick up this reel, uh, depending on what lures you're tossing. The, the uh, jigs and click baits, stuff like that worked really well. But as far as like the big swim baits, once I change it up, kind of do a little bit of changing and dialing it up. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you want to go ahead and subscribe and see more videos like this, go and do that. Be right down below. But that is going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys next time. Peace.